Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can update your Eclipse and the ABAP development tools in Eclipse. Because mainly if you're, for example, developing in ABAP, SAP recommends you to use Eclipse as the IDE. Of course, you can also use the ABAP editor, object navigator and stuff like that. But uh, in order to work with Eclipse, you should use the latest version of the ABAP development tools. And here you can see kind of like, yeah, basically it's um, making some progress. And uh, here we can see a notification that updates are available. So what have I set up that you will get this notification? So you have to go to a window and then preferences and here on the install and update you have the section automatic updates and here basically you have some settings to do so for example you can set up automatically find new updates and notify me so basically that is what i have set up and here you can decide whether you would like to look for updates each time your ide is started or for example once a day once a week once a month what you like to here you have some download options so you can search for updates and notify me when they are available or you can directly download the new updates automatically and uh, you can notify to install them and here you can also um, about uh, the updates you can notify you once about updates or you can set up a reminder what you like to and here basically i think the default option is that you will um, yeah check for for updates once a week but you can also uh, do once your ide is started would you like to and here basically um, yeah you can uh, have a notification because what basically um, recommends sap so here for example you can uh, here click on this on this pop-up then you have uh, this available update site where you can see all the updates uh, you can select the updates you can go to to next and then once again to next and here we have to click on i accept terms of the license agreement and click on finish and then the updates will be installed so for example also your uh, ADT so the ABAP development tools and all the other plugins and stuff like that so um, yeah what you like to and as mentioned what basically recommends sap to update your uh, ABAP development tools and stuff like that you have to go to help and then you have to click on check for updates because that is basically almost exactly the same as you would do with the pop-up with the notification so that is what you have to do manually so here you're seeing exactly the same pop-up and that is what you have to do manually so um, you have to think about this oh okay are there some updates i have to click on this and uh, i personally um, would like to automatic stuff and that is a nice feature how you can get notified about updates instead of just you have to think manually about checking for updates and how you can for example um yeah check for updates for uh, eclipse you have to make sure once again under windows and preferences here available software sites that you make sure that um, the latest url so latest eclipse release has been entered within here if that for you is not a case then you can basically click on add for example latest eclipse whatever you like to and here on the location you enter this url click on add and then you have also this entry because uh, basically yeah these are all changed once you um, check for updates so that is what you have to do and then you don't basically have to uninstall eclipse that is basically yeah um, automatically be done and this is how you can check for updates and i can recommend this 
thank you so much for watching if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video